Hey guys, I got an update for you on PyKiln. We're gonna go over how to load the firmware onto the PyKiln itself. Um, I did a little bit of automation and some scripting. I think I've got a pretty, pretty solid solution. Let's take a look. All right, so if we take a look at the project, you can see all the different files. And the one that we're gonna focus on right here is setup esp32.py and uh, if you're on Windows, uh, I made a little handy pat, uh, batch script that will automatically run this. Uh, but if you're on Mac or Linux, uh, all you have to do is Python and then the name of the file. So I'm just gonna double click this. And this is gonna run me through all the different steps that you have to take to load the firmware onto the PyCone. Um, so what this is gonna do is actually not only load the firmware, but it's going to also install all of the dependencies that you need in order to load the firmware in the first place. So, uh, so just ran it, um, and the first thing it says is make sure that your ESP32 is unplugged. So it is right now, I'm just gonna hit enter, and then it's gonna go through the steps of installing all of the different libraries that it needs. All right, finished installing the packages. I already had them installed. Um, and now it's prompting me to plug in the ESP32. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, and then I'm gonna hit enter. And then it detected that the device that I just plugged in was on COM3. Uh, and it's prompting me to hold down the boot button on the ESP32. So on the, the module itself, there's a little button that says boot, and we're just gonna hold that down. And then we hit enter, and it's gonna start uh, flashing the firmware. So we can let go now that it's started. It's just gonna take a minute here. What it's doing is it's overriding all of the, uh, the flash storage on the chip itself. And then it's connecting to it uh, using REPL right now. And now it's uploading all of the files inside of the uh, source folder. Um, so you can see it's adding each file one by one. Um, so we just gotta wait for it to copy over all the files right now. Copying over all the firing schedules that I was testing out. And it's getting to the library folder right now. So it's installing Pico Web, um, which is our little web server on the ESP32. And UAsyncio, which is for um, threaded coroutines. All right, setup complete. Um, so we can either press the enable button on the ESP32 or just unplug it and plug it back in um, and that will reset it. So uh, how I have it set up right now is it's turning the ESP32 into a little Wi-Fi access point that you can connect to. But what I'm planning to do is add an extra step to this um, setup process where you can enter in your Wi-Fi uh, SSID and password, um, just so that you don't have to connect over, um, you, you don't have to connect to the ESP32 itself. It'll just do it all in this one setup. Um, it'll just make it a lot faster and a lot easier. The, the other issue that I was kind of running into was um, getting the IP address of the uh, PyKiln. So by including that in this uh, command line setup, it should make things a lot cleaner. So I'm just going to hit enable and uh, press enter to quit out. All right guys, so it was really that simple. We just plugged it in and ran the batch script and it installed everything that we needed onto the ESP32 itself. So I'm trying to make this as simple as possible so that anyone can jump in here and get one of these up and running. If you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up. Um, Subscribe for more and hit the little bell for notifications so that YouTube will let you know when I have a new video out. As always, I love you guys. 
super excited for this project. Can't wait to see where we go. All right, catch you later. Bye-bye.